Hello everybody. I have ADS module here and the potentiometer here. And the value is 58 here and 57 here. Let's change the potentiometer and see the different value. Going down and going up. 282, 83. More. 605, 607. Let's get started with this. This is the module I am using on the other side. The wiring diagram is here. This VDD and this VDD connected to 5 volt. This ground and that ground connected to ground. SCL and this SCL both of them connected to B6. Both SDA connected to B7. and address pin also connected to ground and all the unused input pin connected to ground and potentiometer one side connected to ground other side 5 volt middle pin connected to input A1 the wiring connection is here for the display side the wires are here the same color wires goes to the ADS module and I have the potentiometer and I'm using the small potentiometer. It has multi-turn. I have also connected blue and black wires from the potentiometer to measure the voltage in the multimeter. Let's create a new project in QBIDE. For the commercial part number, put F103C8. This is the one for blue pill. Next, uh, I give um, AD. S1115 System Core Sys For the debug uh, select serial wire Click connectivity I2C1 um, I2C That's all the setting we can click save For simplicity I have given the code in my website Link is in the description below This is the website Um, diagram is here, the picture is here, the QBID setting is here, there are library file, uh, these two files we need to put into SRC folder, these two in SRC folder, sorry, these two in INC folder, these two are in SRC folder, how, how I do is, you click the first one first, and uh, we click, select this file name, copy and go to QBIDE and expand the core INC and right click INC and new file and put paste the file name and finish now go to the web again and select all of them control A and control C to copy and go to QBIDE put it here and paste and we can save and then go there again and go back now for the second file copy this file name liquid crystal and go to QBIDE and INC folder right click new file and we paste the file name here finish now go there again now select all Control C copy Control V Control C and go to cube ID and paste it. Now we can save and then go back. These two files go to SRC folder. So click this one. I do I fast forward the video. Uh, copy this one. Now this one is SRC folder. Expand this one. I do it quickly. Now I came back, I did this two also. Now in the main.c file, we copy these two lines for the includes, copy it and go to main.c file, this is the one and paste it in the same place in include. Go below, use a code 2, we copy from here until here. 
go to user code 2 paste it here and then in the while loop we copy from here until here copy it and in the while loop we paste it now we can save that's all the code so in the user code 2 this is the variable for the ads and there's a adc1 value for the reading and we convert it to millivolt this is the string value to print the value in the lcd this is how we initialize and the address we put address ground and because we use the ground for the address pin we use this one if you change it you use the different one and we set gain the gain one we set so when we click here gain one is until 4.096 volt if you want more than 4.096 volt for example 5 volt use gain two thirds so if you want more precise value less volt like 2 volt or 1 volt use gain 2 or 4 right uh, so this is for the LCD initialization in the while loop we get that uh, single ended value from the 1 position but there are 4 inputs we use the input 1 and this is how we convert into millivolt because this this one goes from 0 to 32,768 so that's why we divide by 32,765 and this is the volt maximum volt we get 4.096 volt so this is to multiply by 1000 to get millivolt so this one is to correct the error they, they, to calibrate if there is doesn't go to 0 we subtract or add that value I'll show you later we convert into string and then put into the display so now we can save we upload the code yeah it's done so the value is 121 in the mic, uh, microcontroller the actual value is 114.8 so it's around 6 millivolt different so we calibrate it there that 6 millivolt we subtract 6 millivolt you may need to add something now for this example it's a 6 millivolt we need to subtract now we save it now we upload the code again yeah it's uploaded i have uploaded the code 24 and 25 millivolt the potentiometer is here let's change and see Hundred twenty three, hundred twenty four. I'm increasing two hundred eighty, two hundred eighty one. Let's change, keep going, stopped, and increase again, stopped, increase again, stopped, increase again, stopped, more. Stopped. More. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.